Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to design the bending reinforcement for concrete beam. So this is the problem. So they are asking design the bending reinforcement for the beam assuming the cover to the main steel is 40 millimeters. So FCK and SYK are given and variable load QK and dead load GK also given. So you can see the beam here, they mark the span as 9 meters and this is the beam cross section. Uh, cross section height is 370 millimeters and breadth is 230 millimeters. First we will see basic meanings of some parameters. D. D is the effective depth. Effective depth is the distance from top of the beam section to middle of the tension reinforcement bar. That is the basic meaning. So you can see I mark D here. Breadth of the section, breadth is the uh, breadth of the cross section. Cover. Cover is the distance between the exposed concrete surface to nearest reinforcement bar. So you can see cover here. Not only bottom of the cross section, all four sections have the cover. FCK. FCK is the characteristic compressive cylinder strength of concrete at 28 days. FYK is the characteristic yield strength of reinforcement that is steel. First we have to find ultimate load W. So ultimate load W can be found using this equation so it says 1.35 GK plus 1.5 QK. GK is the dead load and QK is the variable load. GK and QK are given in our problem. So I will substitute those answers 4 as GK and 5 as QK. When I simplify it, I will have 12.9 kN per meters. Next, I have to find design moment. MED. MED equals WL squared over 8. W is the ultimate load and L is the span. Span is marked in our problem as 9 meters. So I will substitute it, those values and when I simplify it, I will have 130.6 kN meters. Next, assume diameter of main bar of 25 mm. So, this is the assumed value. So, you can assume different value uh, like 20 mm or so 16 mm. So, I will assume 25 mm for this calculation. Next, I have to find effective depth D. D can be found using this equation. It says H minus cover minus bar diameter over 2. So H is the overall height of the cross section and cover is the 40 millimeters it's given in our problem. So you can see cover here for as 40 millimeters and bar diameter is the 25 millimeters. So I can substitute those values. So 370 as H, 40 as cover, 25 as bar diameter. So when I simplify it, I will have D equals 300 17.5 millimeters that is the effective depth which is simple d so next i can find ultimate moment of resistance which is mrd mrd equals 0.167 fck bd squared so now i can substitute values 25 for fck and 230 for b 317.5 for d and this 10 to the power minus 6 is for unit conversion so when I simplify it, I will have 96.5 kN meters. Since MRD is less than MED, we have to design this beam as a W reinforced beam. Assume diameter of compression bar is 16 mm. So please keep in mind this is compression bar. Earlier we assumed tension bar, it's 25 mm and here I assume diameter of compression bar is 16 mm. So here effective depth d2 so this is a new effective depth so i will see a diagram so you can see a diagram here and here you will see d2 earlier we found this simple effective depth this is d2 this is the distance from top of the section to uh, middle of the compression reinforcement here you can see definition of d2 d2 is the depth of the compression steel from the compression phase also uh, there is a new relationship x equals 0.45d you will need this value later so now we know how to find effective depth effective depth d2 is 
equals to cover plus bar diameter over 2 this is compression bar diameter which is 16 and I can substitute those values for cover and bar diameter then I can get transfer for D2 as 48 millimeters uh, here is a check so it says D2 or DX should be less than 0.38 so here I showed you before value for this X this value this value x equals 0.45d i will use that value for this check so d2 over x equals 48 over 0.45d so this d2 value we found before and this x is equals to 0.45d so here d is the effective depth uh, pre first effective depth we found it before our uh, usual effective depth and i can substitute that value as well so once I simplify it, I will have 0.34. So since it's less than 0.38, it's okay. So this is just a check. I will not use this for future calculation. Anyway, just check this ratio and show them it's less than 0.38. Uh, then I can find AS2. AS2 is equals MED minus MRD over 0.87 FIK D minus D2. So now I know all values of these parameters, I can substitute those values. I found these all values before and when I substitute and simplify it, I will have AS2 equals 291 square millimeters. So we assume T16 bars are provided as compression reinforcement. So area of a bar is 5 D squared over 4 D is the diameter of the bar it is 16 millimeters so when I simplify it I will have area of bias 201 square millimeters then I can find number of bars number of bars equals AS2 over area of a bar AS2 we found before and I can substitute that value 291 over area of a bar is 201 so when I simplify it I will have 1.44 bars I can't provide 1.4 bars therefore I provide 2 bars so finally I can write two bars should be provided and as provided this is compression steel uh, can be found provided number of bars times area of a bar. So provided number of bars is two bars and area of a bar is 201 square millimeters. So once I simplify it I will have as2 provided equals 402 square millimeters. So this is the compression steel which is provided steel to the top of the section then I will find tension reinforcement AS1 so for that I will have to find Z Z equals uh, this equation so there we have to substitute D and K0 so here as K0 I will substitute 1, 6, 7 so this is a constant so you can just write here and K0 equals 0.167 and D is the effective depth we found it before not d2 this is simple d we found earlier this effective depth so i can substitute those values to uh, this equation and simplify it i will have a 0.82 d right so i didn't substitute this effective depth value yet so i just check this value with this value so so i said value should be less than 0.95d so once I simplify it I will have 0.82 which means this z value is less than 0.95d next I can substitute value for d and find the value for z as1 which is tension reinforcement uh, and it is equals med over 0.87 fyz plus as2 so med is the design bending moment we found it before and fyk is given in the problem as 500 and he said this equals 0.82 times d so i substitute it here 0.82 times 317.5 is the effective depth value plus as2 as2 is the compression reinforcement area here as2 equals 291 square millimeters i can substitute uh, that value for as2 and when i simplify it i will have 1144 So now I can find 
Number of bars we assume T20 bars are provided as tension reinforcement. So area of a bar equals 5 d squared over 4 d is the diameter of the bar. Diameter of the bar is 25 millimeter. Once I substitute 25 for d, I will have 491 square millimeters. That is the area of a bar. Now I can find number of bars. Number of bars equals uh, required area over area of one bar. So required area is 1144. I will divide it 491. So once I simplify it, I will have 2.3 bars. So I can't provide 2.3 bars, therefore I provide 3 bars. So 3 bars should be provided. And is 1 provided equals 3 times 3 is the number of bars. And 491 is the area of 1 bar. So when I simplify it, I will have AS1 provided equals 1473 square millimeters. So this is the provided steel area for tension reinforcement, which is lay on bottom of the cross section. So this is the final cross section. This is uh, compression reinforcement by its 2T16, which is a tall steel of 16 diameter bars. So bottom of the beam, there are three bars of uh, 25 diameter. So this is the breadth of the bar, this is the height of the bar.